All right, so I ended up getting the uh, the rod down out of here. Got the top hinge off. What I ended up doing is taking a screwdriver, putting it in this little slot here, as you can see the rod in there, and I tapped it with a hammer. And it eventually just got down far enough that I can grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it down. Now over here, we got the hinge. These are the two washers that are above and below it. And I have a couple different sizes because I didn't know exactly what size I needed. And those are the screws that I'm going to use to put it back together. I've got these smaller washers. I've got bigger ones. What I'll do is I'll just match it up here. It's it's a little bit bigger than that hole. Look at this one here. That one's a little bit smaller. So I want to get it to as close to exact fit as possible. Maybe I'll do it this way. There's quite a bit of space there. This one here might be the best bet. There's going to be a little bit of room, a little bit of play, but looks like that might be it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the hinge with those two washers back on there. Shove as many of these as I can in there to lift the the hinge up into place. And then we'll put it all back together. So let's go ahead and set this back up. So you can see what I'm doing up top there. I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to grab five of these washers. I don't think I'll need that many, but I'll go ahead and grab them anyways. I'll make that four washers because I just dropped one. Put in the washers from the factory, bottom and top. We'll start putting in individual washers here. It looks like I might only be able to get two in there. It's a maybe. Might be a little bit of a tight fit. I'm gonna see if I can maybe tap it in. Tweak it into place, maybe. Just try to line it up as best I can.
sec might be lined up close enough. Alright, so I'm gonna go down here to the bottom, try to shove the uh, rod back up. first try to get the bottom lined up first once we get the bottom lined up then we'll work on the top Got it through the bottom of the hinge. All right, now we're at the top of the hinge. Perfect. It's a little bit stiff, but that's all right. So where are we at? There we go. So I don't know if you can see how well you can see anyways. But I got two washers in there. Got the factory washer on the bottom. Two more washers up top. This factory washer up there. Uh, they might call them bushings or something, but I'll just call them washers. And that raised it up a good, at least an eighth of an inch. So that'll get us some, uh, some breathing room. And down here, all I did was take a pair of pliers and just push it up piece of trim broke Let's push it up and I gotta bend this piece back that way to keep it in there It'd almost be nice to have a little cameraman or something but oh well not a big deal. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just moving the hinge up top back and forth, make sure the rod's not going to work its way out down the bottom. Nope, not moving. Okay. So, now we just put everything back together and we're good to go. At least on that part. I suppose first I better take care of the door itself. See, it's nice and split down there at the bottom. So I need to get this frame piece back on. So I'll go ahead and pause the camera and get... All right, so I went ahead and started drilling holes to try to get some longer screws in there, but it almost appears like there's no frame where I drilled. You know, they drilled and it came out with, uh, looks like styrofoam insulation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove a couple of the factory screws, pull it back, maybe shine a flashlight in there, and see exactly what's going on. Maybe it's just not part of the frame or something. So I take this screw out first. Oh yeah, it's definitely rotting. Short screw, nice and rotten, or rusted. One thing I love about these little screwdrivers with the interchangeable tips, that right there is a quarter inch. So any quarter inch head, that'll fit. These are short screws, maybe these just went into the metal frame below it. Maybe there's no wood behind it. Let's... There's a middle frame there. And grab a flathead screwdriver here, an actual one. Let's see if I can pop this out, and see what's behind it. Okay, yeah, so. Looks like just wood top and bottom maybe, and then the rest of it, I don't know, yeah, you can see it all that, it's just styrofoam insulation. So, it's not a whole lot I could do about that part, but I can certainly put some longer screws down here on the bottom. I do kind of wonder if there's probably a wooden frame right in here. Uh, I'll go ahead and have a quick look. I think there is. Could be wrong though. But if there is a wooden frame in there, I'm going to drill holes there. out and see what I can't figure out here and there's Phillips that somebody put in here off too. Uh, 
Who would have thought, just to try to tighten this up, I'd have to pretty much take this whole thing apart. Just try to figure out what I can do to make it more solid. Okay, there is wood right there, nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill right there as well. We'll get that thing here. I'm gonna center the camera a little bit more. So if there's wood right there, I wonder if there's wood up here as well. There might be what's going on with that, but we'll see. I'll, I'll punch a hole up in here, just above the the deadbolt. See what happens. Gotta get that like that. wood there. It's not a very sharp bit, so. Um. All right, we'll just go ahead and leave it like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all this back together, tighten it up and then okay. I'm gonna leave the handle off for now, the latch. What I'm gonna put these guys back in. You guys are basically stripped there. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna put this guy back in up here too. You know what, thinking about it, I'm gonna come up here to the deadbolt and, well, no, this should be fine. Just the two screws here. Take the drill bit out of the chuck. I'm going to take this Phillips bit and use it. At least to get the uh, screws most of the way in. I might tighten them down by hand because this thing's pretty ruthless as far as being uh, gentle. I mean, it basically just doesn't or isn't. Start with this bottom one here. There we go. That worked out. I got two more holes. Go ahead and just. Put a screw. 
screw in these two holes here. Nice. Since the previous owner had a screw up here, I'm going to go ahead and put the screw back. All right, now just put this back together and we'll get it back up. All right, so got everything back together, doors up, and Everything's secured. Got a screw there, screw there into the wood. And there we go. Latches perfectly. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, if you uh, like this video and want to learn more about DIY with uh, campers, off grid living, things of that sort, go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button. Hit the uh, bell icon so you get the notifications, and we'll uh, talk to you later.